All right, hello, welcome back. Doing another dive into Omen Sight. I am three days into this game. Have no idea where the murder mystery is taking me. Kind of having a lot of fun with this right now, so I hope this continues to be a lot of fun. Anyways, gonna dive into the game about now, but I just wanna say we are coming up closer and closer. Oh my nose itching but closer and closer to extra life it will be taking place uh, let me see when is that it is on that is not what i meant to do it is going to be on the 7th of november so that is one two three four five weeks and three days away that is really soon i mean that is really, really soon. So anyways, I'm going to be doing Extra Life coming up soon. The link's right there in the words, but also there's a link down below in my Twitch page. You could also find a link if you're watching archives of this on YouTube in the description down below. So consider donating. All the money raised goes to the kids at Seattle Children's. Fantastic cause. If you watch me during Extra Life, I'm going to be playing a lot of cool, fun, weird, crazy games, doing some crazy stunts. Who knows what I'll do? I could tell you in previous years, there were push-ups, there were sit-ups, there were possibly squats, there was eating bugs. Eh. There was also eating very sour things. There was eating so many habanero peppers, one after another after another, followed by cayenne peppers, followed by bad life decisions but also there was previous years where the beautiful beard became nothing so you never know what will happen my hair is getting real long maybe you'll have to go if if donations meet a good threshold same thing about another thing to think about is who is to blame in this murder mystery where we last left off was somebody buzzing me on my phone? So, where we last left off when I was playing is there are some plot twists going on, such as we tried to team up with uh, Radica and Indrek, the two people who hate each other the most, and Radica got brutally murdered by her people and the world still ended. So there is a cult trying to bring about this end of the world. The cult seems to be Rodentia. Who knows what that means? Who knows where we're going from here? I have a feeling I might want to go back. I don't know where to go here. Maybe Radica is the right choice. Okay, I definitely want that one. I'm going to save up for it. I love that dash. That dash is so good. All right. We are going to start the day with, with Radica. And of course, always stay hydrated. So I'm wondering where this goes this time, considering her people are the ones who are trying to kill her. This is, this is going places. Do I give her a different like omen sight if I zap her now, or is it the same one? Okay. I. I don't think I have a choice but to omen sight her here. I think I have to omen sight to start any of the stories right now. Oh, I haven't gone back here with my green gate power.
believe I killed her to prevent a disaster to save our world. Yeah. No. I wouldn't believe me either. I need to put myself in your boots. See with your eyes. What would I need if I were you? Huh. How about I show you something? Although it's not as uh brain rattling as that vision thing you did to me. Very well. You may notice among my many talents I have a knack for discovery. Why uh, what did you discover, Radka? You may ask. I am glad you asked. Um whatever you are. I just uh oh. Did you hear that? <coughs> Transfer to the torture and gives me the creeps. I swear the smoky head is planning something. Oh, hello. All right, let's get let's get to work. Wow, we were doing a good team up right there. Many of our Rodentian finest have their own idea on how we should fight Hagaria. And these fine few were meeting in secret with them. The war has kept me from investigating further, but I know where they met. And the proof is there. In the pudding, you might say. All right. I am going to guess... We're going, yep. So maybe we'll find out what happened to, to Vera, the ungodly priestess. Just so you know, you're not leading your people in a war. Your people are betraying you. Your people are using you to become like that void energy being. where this is going to go from here. Cons oh, want that treasure. I don't want to forget any of that because there's some good stuff I could buy with the monies right now. Like, really good stuff. Ooh. And what have we got in here? We got us a new memory. And some experience, a lot of monies. All right, so who is our new memory? Vera, ooh. This might start bringing things into a new perspective. So let's see where this one goes. As young Vera surveys the trees, a strange sound reaches her ears. It is as if whispers are riding the wind. Vera's mother, Herava nudges her daughter. Vera, it is our responsibility as temple guards to watch over the sacred grounds. Why are you watching the trees? I hear something, mother. What you hear is wrestling. Look. Vera follows her mother's gesture. Before Vera can utter a word, her mother is off sk uh, skirting the soil and returning to Vera with a captured prisoner. Her Vera addresses her victim, Radica. Radica does not quiver in fear, but instead yells obstinately, what are you doing, snatching me up like that? You are trespassing, Her Herava. I keep telling you to say Hervera, but Herava returns. These lands are reserved for the temple of Yarbog. You know this, Radica. While little Rodentian attempts to make, while the little Rodentian attempts to make some excuse, Herava turns to Vera. Return her to where she belongs. Vera nods and departs. A tight grip on the trespassing Rodentian. I'm not a criminal, you can let me go, Radica states. 
Kind of inaccurate, don't you think, Vera counters. The Rodentian stays silent, so Vera continues. You have nothing else to say? I'm trying to think of a properly dramatic way to inform you that you're wrong. Virtually impossible. Hang on, we're almost there. As if I have a choice to hang on or not, Radica mutters. Vera releases the Rodentian, and as Radica runs off, she turns and yells, Next time a little warning would be appreciated, even if only a whisper. I am wondering who is the final... Hey. Okay, I can I cannot break those. I am really wondering who is the six memory set coming from. Cause there is stuff going on. <clears throat> We're about to have some fighting. <clears throat> Take him out. Maybe. Would that be bad? <clears throat> Boom. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of fun grabbing those and throwing them. Explosions are cool. There's going to be some more green gates coming up. There's a treasure over here that I have collected many days in a row. But I always want that money. I'm at 10,000 right now. 10,000's good money. I'll be able to buy some nice stuff doing the 10,000 route. Just say, I definitely want to get that start with one energy so I can at least shoot one bolt. Although, two energy would be better. More treasure. Well, I still feel rich. Oh, I need that purple one. I still don't even have a clue. I'm going to guess Vera is purple. Now, on the other hand. Let's go ahead and open this up. This can come in handy from a mischief perspective. All right, so whose memory do we get this time? Ooh, it might be an Arvera? No. Did I read this one? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I did read that one, but I don't think I read this. So, Radica is scowling, silently cursing the Pygarian Quartermaster. Let me just one triple check that my stream is in good health. Good. During the initial rebuilding that Sharptooth Pygarian had assigned her and her younger brother different tasks, and since that day Holden had vanished, Radica pushed aside the itch to try the Balalaika, wondering if the instrument's magic has any sway over Pygarian's minds. Pygarian minds. If such power existed, the godless priestess would have included that information, wouldn't she? The quartermaster finishes his drumstick, casts it away, and struts off in direction of the soldier's barracks. Before disappearing, Radica lunges in his direction, but as she arrives at the barracks, the Pygarian had already slipped from view. No, wait, that's him there, behind the barracks, sliding into a camouflaged underground door. Deep in her uh, sternum, Radica... That's not one people often say, deep in my sternum, it's deep in my chest, deep in my heart, deep in my gut, not deep in my sternum. 
deep in her sternum, Radica feels a prodding, an instinct to follow. Down, down goes the passageway before leveling out. The dank through, dank through way continues for a good span. There is an opening up ahead and what's that sound? Radica nears the other end of a tunnel and strange snaps and cracks, ungodly noises grow louder. The Rodentian emerges, only a nose length above ground, stealth and caution her only weapons. She expects her sleuthing to provide a formidable ambush against the lone Pygarian. Instead, desperation rises like bile in Radica's throats at the sight she now sees. Young Rodentians, too many count, fall under the lash of whips while others go limp as fabric snaps over their faces. Older Rodentians are dressed in Pygarian garb, armed and sparring with Imperial enforcers. What madness is this? Radica's mind gropes for an answer as anger and terror claw at her. I feel intrigued. I feel it in my sternum. I think I'm going to own that now on. I feel it in my sternum. What happens? I know what happens if I do this, but... <clears throat> I can't get up here on my own, so... I don't know the point of that. Maybe I'll be here later when there's a fight? I don't... Oh, did not want to do that. I want to take these guys out though. like the combat in this game quite a bit the combat is fun it feels good After you're done the world? I'm not practicing I'm getting stuff I might be the harbinger but I need money harbinger wants to buy new abilities that's how the harbinger rolls Well, I know all about those barrels, so you don't need to tell me. I have been through this before. It's not my first... Oh, I so want that purple. I so want at least a hint. Where do I get the purple? <clears throat> like, I knew with her where I was going to get the green. That's just... Okay. Like, I knew where I was going to get green from the get-go. But purple... I'm going to have to assume it's Vera. It looks like it's void related and she seems void related. I mean, end of the world void stuff and all of that seem to be the only purple stuff so far. Okay, <clears throat> we're doing things differently this time.
Boy, I do love those time slowing different abilities. <clears throat> Hold on, I want to get my barrels. Also, apparently I stay on like a tiny bit of health because I don't think apples appear unless there's a little health missing from your health meter. How many times can I say health in a row? A, a lot, apparently. <clears throat> All right, we got big fights coming up though. <clears throat> I still don't know how to get up there, like way up there up ahead. I'm sure I might have done it at one point, but I really have no clue how how to do that. All right, where are we heading? How how long before more rodentians start turning on us, trying to take us down? Quick look, haven't dropped any frames. Happy to see that. Okay. Um, there's also Pythereans, Pygarians. There's the other empire involved. Whoa, that's a big purple gate. Maybe here is, oh man, I think here's where I finally learned purple. This is going to be good. And treasure's hidden. Want well, to make sure I don't miss anything. But I think I'm about to get the purple power. Or learn how to do it. It is Vera's. a different way of saying there it is. Ooh. not getting my energy meter ever built up because I keep getting hit. Alright, so who are they? Vera and... dead what is the deal with Firebore? I feel like he knows something more than he should interesting you know who this is I'm just surprised to see you here I know the fighting's not over yet something urgent came up look I know you keep tabs on everyone where is Ludomir? Ludomir? We need something from him. Unless you can travel back in time, you're out of luck. He's now a pile of steaming ash. Phoenix work, of course. That's inconvenient. Uh, Ludomir? Yes? Why do you keep looking at the clock? Because <clears throat> he's part of it. So I'm guessing I need to pull in Ludomir. Oh, 
Oh, I will have a new seal acquired on my next run, I'm hoping. So I need to do the Wudamir run. <clears throat> well, then this will open up a lot of different things. I'm looking forward to this. This should be a pretty good run overall. I should have a good, like, three more runs in tonight, I'm hoping. Maybe a little more. What does the witch say? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could, I could get behind this move. Okay, I wanted that. Hmm. Let's go with that. You know what? I think we will go for broke. Look at that. Damage is good. Yeah, all right. Let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick, just to make sure we've read everything good. I don't think there's anything really all that different. Well. Alright, let's go ahead and go with Ludomir. <clears throat> oh, quit rushing me. Because we're going to need to go through this a couple times, I think. <clears throat> Ludomir, listen to me. They will cut you down before you reach the gates. And what do you suggest? Wait for it to be over. Yeah, everything will be tickety boo. At least bring a squad along. I wish I could hit what's his face with this just to be like, I know what you're doing. I know you're a part of this. Fiobeer. Fiobor? See, it goes all the way to the top. Or it goes all the way down. Busy time at the prison. Okay, I need to earn his trust, so I need to make sure I don't hit Radica with a psh, is my thought. Almost fell, but it didn't mind, or it wouldn't matter. <laughs> Ooh, yellow door.
I'm not going to comment on that. Wait, Vera knows that seal? Why would Vera know a Imperial seal? Or I guess she is part of the Pygorians. Pygorians, that's the name of them. Nope. Oh. Get this treasure. Hold on a second, Ludomir. Open this. Just like that, eh? Uh, shadow boxing is useless. Let's go buy some real skulls. Okay, what are we gonna learn today? Draga finds the Emperor at the outskirts of the camp, facing off with an insolent Rodentian farmer. The farmer demands, What are you doing on our land, high and mighty Emperor? Indrik answers dryly, Your land is shattered. Pygaria is here to help you rebuild. As the farmer guffaws and ready to retort, Draga steps in. Honorable Rodentian, I know Pygarian presence can feel invasive, but Rodentian tradition demands that during the harvest you accept new proposals, am I correct? What do you know about our traditions? Enough to respect them, do you? The farmer shrugs his consent. He's probably feeling things off in his sternum. That's where I'd feel it. Well, I suppose I can't argue with that logic. The farmer gestures at Indrik. You want to help rebuild? Then help. But I'm keeping an eye on you. He walks away, still muttering. Pygarian's offering help. That's new. And the emperor nods as the farmer silhouette shrinks in the distance. Well done, Draga. Yet, I wonder, how do you know Rodentia's intimate, Rodentia's intimate details? I study a lot, your highness. Every moment that I am off duty, my nose is in a book. With a thin smile, the Emperor says, is that so? He examines Draga from head to toe. He's considering whether court-martial you for enabling General Elia's desertion, he adds. Draga gasps. After a long silence, he declares, tomorrow you head for the Rodentian capital, new general. You will be leading the negotiations. Like I said before, you can't really just make someone a general by going, you know what, I'm going to take this little badge off me and put it on you, and now you're general. Am I going a right or wrong way? Because... Oh, this is now locked, so... I guess I'm going this way. I hope I didn't make a bad choice. I'm getting experience in money, so I'm not going to mine. Yet, that is. I might complain later. Oh, get out of there. Okay. Um, I went that way and killed him that way. That made no sense. All right, no treasures to loot. So let's go up there, Ludomir. <clears throat> Uh, 
Ooh. Get those treasures. Really? Why is that one not? Apparently I cannot break that one. That makes no sense. But whatever. I'm used to not everything breaking. <clears throat> Although the floors are trying to break under me, I'm surprised they're breaking under me and not under Bear. Because Ludomir is probably pretty heavy. He seems like a beefy boy. Huh. <laughs> uh, let's free some people. Aha! I think I can loot here. Oh yeah, I've never been on this side of the barricade before. This is interesting. However, I will break that. I think this is the second barricade. There's a first one on the other side here. Or not. Okay, I do remember there's a Treasure or two right up here. Hey, come on, interact. I do get a little annoyed when it doesn't interact when you walk up to them. I'll be there in a sec, Ludomir. Got looting to do. More monies. Hey, don't say I'm wasting time. Wow, for once I'm not having someone build me a bridge here. Because this is where either Indrik or uh, Droga would build a bridge. Are about to get real. Yeah, I want to fight her because because I need his trust.
boy. I was getting beaten up there. She's getting pretty strong. It's done. I can't believe it's done. Maybe now her spirit will have peace. It's the least I could do. She reached out to me, you know. I mean, when she died, she guided me to her body. I found her in the sewers, discarded like an old dog. Wait, so she did? So I'm confused. I thought she was saved by someone after the sword stabbing. And therefore, like, she is still alive, but I guess she's not still alive? Like, I'd be confused. Oh, they'll find out soon enough. Or actually, they won't care. They're going to kill us anyways. Um, I think he's slightly floating, that rat. I want this treasure. I've gotten that treasure twice today. I'm wanting this treasure. I've gotten it twice today. I am getting some good money built up. Oh! I don't know what I just did there. But I'm going to pretend I didn't do it. Okay. Did I already get the money from this or? Nope. So the money didn't even count. Okay. Well, let's go get that money again real quick. And then we will dive back into actually making some progress. Not up to 10,000, so. I wonder if there's a death tax. good I am shiny friend you are all quite welcome to bow down to me your shiny friend okay, let's get us some treasure real quick because I lost some money and also I still want to keep upgrading my guy because some of those fights were getting a little hard because the fight with Radica got kind of crazy not good I mean that Radica fight whoo she knocked me down to like I think only about 20% of my health was left if even that much hey buddy you wanna Thank you. So this is annoying. I'm going to get that purple seal real soon, but it's like, hey, bear, can, Ludomir, can you please? No? No, Ludomir? All right, this is my chance to take advantage of this and give it one of these boom
Oh! I don't care for these mages! Ooh! Tag team! Tag team's kinda good. Well, I want the apple. I was a little low on health. Not super low, but a little low. Alright, take that out. They have heard about what I did. Oh well. I don't think you're going to talk them out this Ludomir. We're just going to have to just slaughter them all. Okay. I doubt we can. I really doubt we can. You just like slaughtered a whole bunch of their friends. Like, I am really pretty sure no common sense can be talked into anyone. Oh, there's another purple. Open that for me. Come on, at least grab this treasure. All right. Whoa, whoa. My character was kind of freaking out there. I did not want to fall to my death. I already did that once. I seem to have lost my... Hey, Ludomir. You got open purple. Nope. All right. That's cool. Okay, here is a little frantic, if I remember right. out a bunch of them these invisible ones can be a little annoying some good fighting. That's good fighting. Let's go Ludomir. That's how they do things. Ludomir! Ludomir! Okay. Oh boy. Oh! 
Oh, why do I have a feeling? Are we going to learn who the real leader is? Okay. By the time I build up a couple energy, the fight always ends. I want to do that triple slash thing again. That is such a cool ability. Alright, come on, Ludomir. We are about at the tree. So I guess I can't get you to open up this path, can I? No? Oh, Ludomir. Come on, come on, over here. Nope, nope. Nope. Ludomir does not care. Ludomir is kind of being a jerk about that. Fine. But this is how I get up here. Oh! Okay. There I is. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of experience for this. make that two because I just learned it ha ha there a seal acquired a grove in the old forest walked by a personal seal bearing the sigil of Vera the godless priestess comprehension surges into your mind you have learned how to unlock Vera's seal what is with the glowy I'm not going to touch that. Ooh. Let's open this one already. Don't trust the glowy. That stuff is probably going to hurt me a lot. Ludomir stares at the ground below. The dizzying height nauseates him. To admit that he was stuck, suspended in midair on the commuter's rope bridge, was too shameful. He, so, he simply stays put, pretending to admire the view. A passerby carrying a heavy load approaches. The bridge wobbles and Ludomir struggles in silence. Suddenly, the passerby turns to Ludomir, his face mildly curious. Are you Pygarian by chance? Ludomir snorts loudly. Never. I didn't mean to offend, of course. I'm Fireboar, by the way. I don't trust that boar. Let's see, where was I? I'm Ludomir. I guess you're not Pygarian either. So why are you heading there? A new calling, a new life. That's not saying you hear often in Euralia. The future is unpredictable. You never know what you'll begin to hear. Fair enough. Well, good luck to you. Thanks, where are you headed? Ludomir chuckles. Nowhere right now. Yeah, he's kind of pe petrified. He feels it in his sternum that he's petrified. Um, I've got quite a load here, Fiobor begins. If you wouldn't mind helping me steady the rig, I'd be much obliged. Ludomir thanks a moment, eyeing the length of the heavy-duty pole jutting out of Fiobor's pack. That pole could be saving could be the saving grace Ludomir needs to get off this wobbly rickety menace. Alright, Ludomir agrees. I've got some free time. Splendid. If you don't mind, let's get going. These flimsy rope bridges put me on edge. You know what I mean? Ludomir smirks. Not at all, cause he he's now like confident. No, he's not. He is. Ludomir, you're full of it. I still want to know who is this unknown. I don't trust the purple. I'm not going to touch it. As I almost run into it. Bloody monsters. Damn you. You're 
Well, this place seems crawling with void energy, so of course there's monsters here. I wasn't sent by her. Not really, I think. is another round. Finally got the purple key. Where a spirit can communicate with Ludomir. She spoke to him about a sword. You have acquired the key to uh, Vera's personal seal from Ludomir. Guided by Vera's spirit, Ludomir found her dead body hidden in the sewers. One quick second. I have a dog licking her paws, which is a bad habit of hers, and want to tell her, don't do that. Not cool. We are missing one of those pieces in that. Vera seal acquired, a grove in the old forest locked by a personal seal bearing the sigil of Vera, the godless priestess. Comprehension surges into your mind. You have none uh, you have learned how to unlock, you have unlearned how to lock Vera seals. I'm getting a lot of experience. And I'm going to level up, I think. Okay, I guess we go back to Radica to go see what's in the big tree. This is Gaines. Saw you. This is not supposed to be. Had I waited a moment longer, next time I will act swifter. You are safe now at least. Oh no, level up. That seal you learned from Ludovic. It is the same seal protecting Vera's hideout. We can return there with Ratica and see this proof she is so insistent about. Let's see, what do we want? Hmm. Go with another health. Let's just go for the attack damage. Well, let's go with Radica. Let's see, where we start with her, I don't think we found any purple gates. I will pray for your success, Harbinger. Okay, I'm not sure. Oh, I think we're going too far to see some of the purple gates. Oh. But I don't want to just replay the whole of that day. But I will replay getting this treasure because there are more more things I want to spend monies on. Give me a second, there's another pot. Hey, because of that, I'm busting. You know, from looks of it, you have caused me a lot of problems. So, 
There you go. You stop complaining. Now I'll go over to you and have you complain once more. Yeah, it might actually be. I don't know yet. Might be interesting. Maybe I am meant to kill you, Radica. I think this might be a big reveal, I'm hoping. Don't worry, I got that. Eh, you think all you want. I'm opening this. Wait, how did you do it? You know what? Never mind. You are a supernatural being. That is the correct answer, Radica. You should feel that in your sternum. Vera's transgression is revealed, omen sight acquired. Next major breakthrough in our investigation is reached. I want to go get that story real quick though. No, no, no. There, there was just, there was a memory right there. In a secret hideout in Rodentia, Vera was uh, Vera has unleashed the void. She was surrounded by several accomplices, Rodentian and Imperial. Radica did not kill Vera. In a secret hideout in Rodentia, inside an amber tree, Vera and her accomplices summon the void with a ritual involving the sword Claydon. So why did she do it is my question now. Did they know what they were doing or this might give me enough experience for a level up, though. Wait, what just... Is going on. What is going on? Do not like those guys.
Can I boot you off the edge? Yeah! Okay. I like booting people off edges. I have sealed the breach, and I doubt we are safe. Odin is likely to be gathering his strength for another attack. You must hurry. Oh, this place is getting purple. If the priestess is in league with the boy, with Odin, then all is lost. Perhaps we have no choice but to abandon this world to its fate. That sounds like a bad decision. How about we look how close I got? Oh, that is so close. So, so close. I don't have much money. I don't want to go just for that. What have we got here? Finding Vera's soul is the key. Hmm. What about going with him? I'm not getting a good... I'm not getting a good hint on this one of what to do, so I think giving him the full story with an omen sight blast to his brain, hit him in the sternum, that might be the ticket. You're going to get a lot of information right here. What would drive the godless priestess to such madness? I push the subjects, yes. But that's because I can see beyond their potential, even past. No, yeah, you're kind of a jerk. You're not the best leader. Quite possibly. This might be an interesting path. All of you, cease fighting at once. Everyone, stop fighting. I won't give up. I ordered you to cease fighting, soldier. But sir, they kept on attacking. As did you. Yeah, you just pretty much, you've been at war and all of a sudden you're like, nah, quit fighting. That, that's not going to, like, that won't impress anyone. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can pick up some goodies, because there might be... Oh, I did not mean to hit that. I bumped my controller into my desk. That was not what I wanted to do, but oh well, it'll recharge. In, two, one, done. So let's go ahead. Make sure we fully explore. Oh, I could go up here. This one had something. Or no, it wasn't this one, but it's coming up. I think it should be in this dungeon. 
Um, come on, interact. My guy's like, I just want to cut things. No, you don't. I don't know, but that was a pain. It'd be cool if the Emperor fought with me, but I understand why he's not. I mean, he's not fighting with me because he's trying to find peace. But peace is just not part of this. You can't just end a war that's been going for however long at the drop of a hat. Let's go through here. Treasure. I am not going to miss out on treasures because I definitely want to keep building my strength because I do feel the enemies are increasing their ooh, damage capabilities. Let's go here. How could we still be fighting each other? Don't we see it? The void is seeping through the walls. Or is it your presence hard until it grants me this away? Well, I am good at awareness granting. <gasps> this is a dangerous place to fight. Like, this is... Oh boy, that is no good place to be fighting. And there's no going back, but that's all right. All right. Let's get us in our story. <clears throat> Indrik. All right, hive mind. Footfalls make Indrik blink and glance about his solitary room. His instinct tells him hide the cherished treasure, but his fondness for the gift overpowers it. At any given second, his patrician could fly through the door and demand it from Indrik. Lokren. Lo that's a weird one to try and say. Lochran is strict in every sense of the word, but this gift, this ant farm sent by his parents in secret, is a treasure from childhood. Indrik glides his hands along the glass, tracing the worker ant's path. Even as a young boy, Indrik had been fascinated with the nature, uh, with nature on a surprisingly small and minuscule scale. He was at it again now, but this time his awe had to be kept secret. The hour hits twilight, but still Indrik observes the colony, notating 
uh, his findings by scrawling comparisons on bits of parchment, exhaustion wounds. Swiftly and without warning, Indrik falls asleep and the ant farm remains out in the open, in danger of discovery. Sometime later, Indrik's groggy eyes open, and the patrician is there, wrath billowing in the senior's face. In one fluid motion, Lokrin snatches the colony and throws it. Glass hits stone, and shattered pieces litter the ground. Do you want ants? Because that's how you get ants. Standing opposite Indrik, the patrician pauses, motionless, expressionless, unnaturally calm. The intrigue that Indrik once held for Lokrin's control and discipline eviscerates as he sees the ants skitter across the floor. That's how you get ants. Something fractures within Indrik. A realization takes hold. Indrik will not be like his insect friends. He will not run nor hide. Instead, he will become like Lokrin. He will become a predator. I don't know if that's really the greatest thing in the world to become a predator, but oh well. We made it through this. What have we got up here? How about treasure? And some buckets. All right, another treasure. I do like treasures. Treasures are good. I don't even know where we're at right now. Oh, there we are. I seek your leader. Stop toying with us and get it over with. If you can reach us. I expect nothing less from the heart. Um All right, we are not going to fight. We might have found peace. Oh. Get that treasure. I do like my treasure. Why are you just standing there? I like how he's become like the pinnacle of peace at this point. Harbinger, please stop. Please don't do that. It's not nice. I don't get what is so hard about throwing that. Don't fight. Attention. You are free to go. I only wish to speak with your leader. Yeah, and as soon as we move, your soldiers will turn us into Dismiss your soldiers. That's the only way. Good. Good call. Any who harms or attention will be caught martial. Now, move. That was actually a smart move of his. And down redemption. No harm will come to you. Have my word. Hey guys. I do not want to fight you all. Alright. We're choosing peace. However, I'm also choosing to eat an apple. I'm good with that one. And... Was there always so much purple, or is... I think the whole world's becoming more purple at this point. Yeah, we've got more purple coming through, so... Lodrin, or whatever the void was called, it's becoming pretty powerful. Alright, got my money. Ooh, I've got a lot of money. I am going to take advantage of that. I am definitely going to take advantage of that. As I now know, you don't need to build me that bridge. I know this for sure.
Up we go. You know what? I'm going to listen to him. The alternative is we fight her, which... That'd be bad news. Can we make an epic team up right here? Sided with me. People can change. I can realize what I've done. The different directions I might have taken. Different directions? Are you kidding? Oh, you've gone far beyond the point of no return. Ratica, please listen. I'm not here to fight. You and I, we face a greater enemy. Okay, I need to just give her the brain zap. If you're gonna lie, you have to lie a lot better than this. This, this okay, is just... Okay, just let me do the brain zap. There we go. Brain zap. Zap. Kind of like humble Indrek. Now we need to act. I. Uh, what was that? Indrek, what happened to you? Wait. Why am I acting all flustered? You're the one who should be flustered. What? Never mind. Indrek, if you're serious, I'll give you <coughs> one chance to explain. One chance. You must seek out Ferris' accomplices. Convince them to be glad. The sword is fight for success. Oh, easy. No trouble at all. And what will you be doing? Sitting perched on your throne, waiting for me to deliver clad into you? After you retrieve the blade, I will use it to banish the void. I will need the harbinger's help. She is best suited for the task. My ancestors have entrusted this to me. My lineage demands I take this responsibility for all our sins. Okay then. We're off to save the world. Okay. <clears throat> I definitely can say I kind of like humble like humble holy Indrek. Is Ludomir going to be able to survive? Yava left this world long ago. Before he did, he took precautions to prevent the void's return. Those precautions have failed. Your presence is proof of that harbinger, but Yava saw to that as well. I will take you now to a special place within the temple. A chamber that has been sealed for three hundred years. I think we're going to get in some good, like, revelations right here. 
The void is gaining ground with every breath we take. Let's see what new lessons we learn, because this is gonna... Oh, wait, 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 oh. I gotta get that. I am not missing out. Ooh, more story. Get that. I wish it just highlighted immediately which one you found. All right. Indrik and his old advisor, Lokren, are standing at a large map in Neralia. A crackling fireplace and several candles lit the Emperor's private chamber. The hour is late. Emperor, this is a perfect opportunity to test um, Ion Trek's fury. I disagree with Lokren, sir. Uh, sire interrupts General Elia as she barges in room, her second, the feline in tow. The Rodentians barely survived a monument monumental disaster, Elia continues. Introducing Pygarian weapons will send the wrong message. The patrician sneers at Elia. Pygaria's strength cannot be compromised. Lo uh, Locrin, we do not need a wo We have a delivery, which makes my dogs excited. Locrin, we do not need a war. Our main focus is to... Uh, gain the Rodentian's trust. Trust, yes. The godless priestess can be of use, Lokrin suggests. Why bring Vera into this? The feline asks. Lokrin snaps. Who gave you permission to speak? Elia intercedes. Draga has a point. We do not need the priestess. Lokrin grits his teeth. A strong symbol is what this nation needs most. What this nation needs most is my leadership, Lokrin. The little patrician bows well and utters, of course, Emperor. Indrik turns to Elia. General, start gathering goods and materials. We will move them into Rodentia and distribute them immediately. And please teach your second proper etiquette. General Elia and the feline salute and hurriedly leave the room. The patrician remains meditative. Is it wise to empower the general? Locrin, old friend, you have wisdom, but uh, you lack vision. How can the Rodentians believe in our sincerity if our army does not? Besides, I leave, you, leave to you the most important task. Anything, sire. You know what to do. The Rodentian youth are the key. And make sure our proxies are discreet. With luck, there will be a gentle revolution. If not, Hendrick sighs, war. And guess what happened? War. All right, here we go. Um, what are you expecting for? I forgot to check this way. Nope. All right. Oh, I'm, that might be what I'm thinking of, where the where uh, Lodomir can help me out. I keep wanting to just call him the Bear. Things are getting real, real crazy. That is. Um, what if I don't want to go down there yet? What if I want to check over... Oh, never mind. What if I do want to go down here? That's nice and easy. All right, get my treasures. I'm careful. 
Ooh, but there's a treasure here, so I'm super careful. When it comes treasures, I'm the most careful person there is. There's going to be fights. Oh, come now. Wow. Um, I'm first grabbing apples. I hope you don't mind. I just got beaten up there. Alright, and they're purple. I'm not going the wrong way now. I dashed the wrong direction, but killed him. Sadly, I do not have that memory that was in the tree, because... <laughs> Vera forces a smile as she offers the instrument to Radica. As the new godless priestess, Vera no longer needs her balalaika, but gifting it is still difficult. It is a precious heirloom. The balalaikas are instruments forged by Yarbog himself, Vera explains. They have been passed down from generation to generation, kept in the family, but seeing that my kind is nearly extinct, Radhika is taken aback by the instrument. She accepts the gift, plucking the strings and expecting the smooth surface. Radhika is more than intrigued. She is enraptured by Verica's remark or Verica, Radhika and Verica, uh, by Vera's remarkable gesture. Thank you, Radhika whispers. I've heard these instruments carry mysticism in the strings. Tapping into bardic magic is possible, but takes practice, Vera confirms. For example, tiny earthen elements may, or uh, can be controlled by playing the melody. May I? Vera strums uh, surrogate music combined with spell energy. Susurrit music combined with spell energy, and the ground begins to move. Radica's mouth drops a gape. I wouldn't put that much faith in me. No one else ever does. Aren't you always pointing out that you're the older and wiser than you appear? Radica laughs and adds, Point taken, Vera. I mean, Miss Godless Priestess. One more thing, Radica, about the balalaika. Let me guess. Don't let the power go in my head. Only use it for communion or defense, otherwise the balalaika could open a path that leads to the loss of your mind and your humanity. We've seen that one. But priestess, uh, didn't you know? I lost my head to the forces of humor long ago. And everyone at one point had a better life 
ahead of them or a far worse life. Yeah. At least Indra, or yeah, Indrik is becoming kind of cool. Treasures. Especially if we're approaching like the end game. Uh oh. I want to make sure I am ready for the end game because some of the fights are getting a little more difficult. I'm not sure whether it's me playing very sloppy or if I'm just being destroyed by more powerful of enemies. I don't know, to do a special move when I hit the special move button. Be really nice of you. By the way, I think this is going to be my last day on this today. Last day being my last cycle through. Because it is getting a little on the later side. I'm only good for about two hours on Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay. Okay. Ludomir is big power. Oh. Okay, camera. I could use you. Okay. Okay, Wudamir, you're going down, Wudamir, is my achievo on that one. Go on. Andres, the last time you're at my mercy, I thought I could help you find your true strength. <laughs> I was a fool. Did you hit your head, Andres? When it was decided that I would be emperor, everything was taken from me. Childhood, family, love. With a grim focus, I was forged into a perfect ruler. I thought I could reforge you the way I was reforged. But thanks to the Harbinger, I finally understand. 
Becoming emperor did not make me strong. You broke me. So I tried to break you. Took your freedom. Your hope. But were I born, you held. You're kind of a jerk, Indrek, in the past. Is this an apology? The harbinger is waiting. Go home. I'm going to see if there are apples in these barrels, because cause I got beaten up bad. No, oh, camera, don't pull me. Okay, give me a bridge. Alright, making sure my mic's back on because I killed it for a quick second. Unfortunately, it looks like I might have dropped about 82 frames during that big fight. Um, these are ciphers. I don't think there is an outcome of no violence with them. Gotta get a story here, I think. Yep. And an apple. All right, one more memory for today. Forbidden. <clears throat> you did what? I climbed down Gillis Savers, the merchant's incredulous look while, uh, a while longer, then continued his tale. There I was standing at the edge of Viralia, facing the endless sky. I wondered, anything down there? So I figured since no one had done it before, why not have a look? I secured myself with a rope and started the descent. The merchant lifts a roasting dragon cricket from the campfire and offers it to Gillis. The explorer peels the chitin, takes a huge bite, wipes the juices from his lips, and continues his story. I cling to the surface and carefully inch downward. I was expecting the edge to be smooth, shaved, with, shaved by the shearing winds, but instead I was holding on to a wrinkled, rough stone. Except it wasn't a stone. It took me a while to understand what I was hanging on to. Gillis stops to check his audience. With the careful timing of an expert storyteller, he delivers the punchline. It was a root. Huh? I saw dozens of roots, maybe a hundred feet in diameter, extending downward, uh, sink into the clouds. Aralia is not just a giant mass of land, it's a living giant mass of land. Oh, uh, come on, you're pulling my leg. But that's not the strangest part, Gillis takes a deep breath. The next bit, I'm terrified just thinking about it. The merchant's about to burst in laughs. Burst in laugh? Burst into laughter? But something in Gillis' stares, uh, something in Gillis's stare stops him dead in his tracks. I was about to go back when I sensed a shiver down my spine. Slowly, I turned my head, and there it was staring at me. All I can remember are the eyes, three pairs as big as an apple tree, piercing me. I was frozen, then I felt it. It was in my mind, searching for sight. Searching? For memories. It sent me images, a giant serpent, battle, I think. I think it was looking for memories of Bowdoin. Bowdoin, that's a hundred years ago. Yeah, probably why the creature quickly lost interest. It turned around and plunged beneath the clouds. The next thing I remember, I was back on the surface, running towards my village. The merchant meditates on the tail for a while, then asks, and you, don't, and you don't remember what it looked like? This is scary part. Every time I try to remember, I faint. Come on, try. 
with a Cy Gillis focuses on memory on the giant eyes, then everything turns black. I am intrigued by what this all means. All right, we need to be in hurry mode because it is 522, which is near where I want to be done by. I want to try and stop around 530 on typical nights because I do have responsibilities I need to take care of. But let's see where this takes us. Fight time. Oh, I see how it is. Some of these apples. Oh, you're kind of a jerk. Grab this last apple just in case. And we are about there. It is clear that Bowden has grown in strength. I hope we are not too late. Oh, will we finally hear what the last one means? Or, wait, what? This is the place. The final words of Yarbog are inscribed within. Claydon Seal acquired a secret seal bearing the antiquated sigil of the legendary sword Claydon. Comprehension surges into your mind. You have learned how to unlock Claydon seals. I have not seen those before. Be sure to protect this knowledge. This room was built by Pigaria's first emperor, Iron Trek the Unified. It was said that Yarmok spoke to Iron Trek directly. And the emperor inscribed his words these very walls. Harbinger. Hmm. He was expecting you. You have awakened by my failings. The beast and the blade, your will must bind. Let me share the secret with you. Bowden was not truly defeated by Yarba. It is not easy to kill a god, as you may suspect. No, the void is imprisoned. Yeah, I think we knew this. Prison is the sword cutting. <laughs> They are instructions for you, Harbinger. Unlock Cloud and Seal. Enter the prison. Defeat the void. Those were Yarbog's final instructions if all else failed. No metaphor. I like one straightforward like that. Let us pray that Rattiger finds the sword before Bowden completely escapes his prison. Nope. Indrik knows of a secret chamber that can yield the key to defeating Vodin. Vodin was defeated by the god Yarbog and imprisoned inside the sword Claydon. Yarbog has anticipated that the Harbinger would appear fight Vodin. His instructions are clear. Find Claydon, enter a prison, defeat Vodin. I like it went to the point. 
a seal locks the legendary sword Claydon, a seal for Bowden's prison, a world hidden inside the sword. You have acquired the key to Claydon's seal. Secret seal bearing the antiquated sigil of the legendary sword Claydon, comprehension, comprehension surges into your mind. New seal. Oh, wow, well, I wasn't even a stylish fighter. Do I get to go back to the good place, or do I have to have more insanity coming up? Things are getting bad. Before he unlocks his full power, short of finding the soul of the priestess, this is the only way. Harbinger, you must find Clad. Does that mean I need go with Radica again? Hmm. That ain't too bad. How far does it go? Should go somewhat. No, man, level ups are getting expensive at this point. <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to do that one because. That delay of fate lets me hit enemies who are just horrible otherwise. I'll do that too. Um, gaining energy more quickly. Combo damage is good. And you know what? Let's go that, that, that. So we don't know this. <clears throat> we need whoever can find the sword. It sounds like she should find the sword. And it seems like Draga has several things that are unknown. So I need to find Clayton, enter her prison, defeat Voden. Oh well. For right now, I've got to call it quits. It is 5.30 on the dot. Some nights I might go longer. This is not a night I will because, well, my wife has been dealing with stomach bug. My dogs have been dealing with a stomach bug. I've got to be a responsible individual right now, take care of some things, be a good person. So. If you've been watching, thank you for watching. Looks like I have at least somebody who's watching right now. So thank you for joining me. Hope I brought you some entertainment. Hope you had a good time watching this. Um, feel free to follow if you want to see more of things like this. Um, I am almost done with this game. I'll be playing on Friday starting at 2.30ish. Probably closer to 45ish, but... The schedule on Twitch doesn't let you go by 15 minute, or actually, no, I want to say it only goes by half hour increments. I'm not sure offhand. I'm kind of new to making a schedule on, on Twitch. But, go ahead and follow if you want to get notifications that I'm going live. After I do finish um, Omen Sight, I am thinking I might go for a classic that I never touched. I'm talking about Newtopia. That might be what I do next. I'm not 100% sure. There are some other games I want to check out, but I want to say that kind of I could keep doing a little more each day where people could jump in, just enjoy the ride without needing to be super invested. Although Omen Sight, the story, you do get kind of invested. This plot is going places that are really cool. So anyways, if you were watching, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic night. I would
think about rating channels or something, but I'm not going to do that until I have more people that I'd be bringing along. Don't have the highest view count. It's okay. I've only been streaming on Twitch for three weeks now. Or this would be my third week if you want to get into semantics. So, anyways, I hope you all have a great night. If you're watching on the archive, um, you can find my schedule, uh, twitch.tv slash heppenwana. If you want to donate to Extra Life or learn about my Extra Life um, charity drive, it is at extra-life.org slash participant slash heppenwana. It is only five weeks and three days away, I believe I said, which is crazy. That's coming up soon. I'm going to be streaming for 25 hours minimum. Previous years, I've had stretch goals or milestones where if I reached enough donations, I'd go even longer. And I have a potential to be going in from 8 a.m. on Saturday the 7th, I believe it is. Let's see, what date is that? Um, I could be, yeah, starting at 8 a.m. the 7th of November. I could be going until 11 a.m. on the 8th of November. I should add, there's also a bonus hour in there for daylight savings, so hey, could be a good long stream. I tend to go crazy by the by around a little after midnight, so it's good fun for everyone. Anyways, I'm rambling. I gotta get going. I hope you all had a great time. I hope you are all taking care of each other, being safe, socially distancing, keeping healthy, not giving in to hatred or just anger towards people. I don't like diving in politics. I don't plan on being a political stream or anything like that, but I just want to say politics in the U.S. right now just have a very dirty feel all around. Don't give in to any hatred, any xenophobia, any discrimination, be it ageism, sexism, uh, homophobia, transphobic behavior, anything like that. Human rights are human rights, and those human rights apply to uh, trans rights, to uh, gay rights, to black rights, to any rights. Doesn't matter who you are, you need to, we need to all just come together and just show love, show equality, show equity, and raise up those who have been pushed down the most. And current political climate is not in that vibe. So you know what I say? To heck with the politics. We should just be good on our own and start, start where you are and just share love, share good vibes. Be good. Anyways, on that note, I've got nothing but love for all of you. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic night. I should have something that I'm hosting on this channel after I hit the stop button. So stick around. There might be something cool coming up. I don't know who is streaming right now, but... I am willing to bet there are some cool streamers who have a chance. Probably Arcus might end up on my hosting. Arcus is a really positive speedrunner. If you don't know who he is, he is fun. He is fantastic. Anyways, I keep saying I'm quitting. I'm quitting. Everyone, have a good night. I'll see you Friday around 2.30ish, maybe 2.40ish. I'll see you then. Good night. Nothing but love. <laughs>